it must be hard for a dude. Destiny and Sean, what they up to now? Oh, okay. Hey, did you see the cigarettes? I told y'all, I told you in the last video that this woman was smoking before she went into the thingy majiggy, the court, or after, I don't know, but during the confessionals. Mm, I'm like, they hate me. I feel like they're just gonna throw me to the wolves. Like, I, I'm gonna go back to prison and it's kind of like, oh, yeah, but it's a hey, Destiny was like, my friend, my friend, my friend, get, get off me, like, don't be, uh, uh. That's the same thing, that's the same thing Dylan did when Heather was trying to give her a kiss Some when they first met. Yeah, that's how you know that one is more into the other, yeah. You can tell, she's like, get off me, I'm talking about some serious stuff over here. By the way, they're not throwing you to the wolves. You're like, awoo, and then just, eh, walk right where the wolves are. They come find you because you actually, eh, you're looking for it. You're looking for it. You're doing everything wrong. That's why this is happening. A hard pill as well. Like, you can't do on it. I mean, my attorney can't even Ah, good old Brittany. Destiny's sister. Now, very funny way of spelling Brittany. But anywho, um, how do you feel? This, what was all this partying and things about, you know, you need to also be a positive and good influence on Destiny. The way Destiny was drinking with you, who, 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 you guys were almost late to this court date, first of all, not showing that you've changed or that you're a serious person or whatever, whatever. And um, yeah, you need to be a good influence because she could have been drunk, she could have done some stuff. I'm not saying that, you know, when people are drunk, they always do some stuff, but she could have. Why would you risk that? Oh, because of you, you. You tagged along and you influenced her to do all the bad things, go and blow Sean's money in casinos and nonsensical things. Hmm. All right, like, what are you going to do? Well, we do whatever we can do. I don't have a lady seen on you. Yeah, but doesn't that still, even though they re... You know, when you're in this type of predicament, I can imagine she's feeling very, and she's hot. She's like anxious, she's hot, she's angry, she's frustrated, she's scared, right? Here comes Sean. Yeah, but don't you feel that maybe when you come and then... My friend, she doesn't want to hear any of it. You mean well, but she doesn't want to hear any of it. She really doesn't. File though, doesn't it still kind of in no. a homeless and way double jeopardy? No, way? it's not. By law, they have two times that they can refile against you, but it has to be within a year. So it's been less than a year. Maybe, the, maybe we'll get lucky and the judge will just throw it out and I'll let it. I mean, I didn't Listen, I'm not... Fairy like I'm Mom is standing behind like, let me see this play out. They're barely getting time to talk, talk because it's love after lockup and they're filming everything. This is crazy. She's just standing there like, hmm, let me see what advice this guy is going to give. This guy that is pretty much my age or around my age or just a little bit younger. Let me see what advice he's going to give. His whole stance is let me be super positive even when the end is in sight. That can be good. But in this situation, it's also like... I'm facing reality. Like, let's be real here. Like, the fact is, is that it's going to happen. Straight up, it's going to happen. I'm not going to sit here and tell myself, oh, it's not going to happen. And keep that mindset and what? Be devastated. Like, no, dude. Like, I know in my mind and my heart, like, I'm going back to prison. It's just, I hope that you know when I say seven years, it's a long time. Seven years, though. Seven years. She might be going for seven years. And like, and I'm not going to expect you to wait for me. He's gonna wait. Like, that's crazy. I know. I feel like I can't get away from my past little life of me. Like, the harder I try, the worse things get, you know? Where'd they get that food? Did he ever warn you of this possibility? Her attorney or something like that. Her. Who? Who are we talking about? Just what to kind of prepare you. No, I wasn't aware that they were gonna refile, you know? They didn't tell me because they didn't want me to. Right? So they didn't tell her that there was a possibility that she could be locked up again for seven years for cutting off her ankle bracelet and posting it back to them, kind of like a ha-ha, middle finger to y'all kind of type deal. Uh, they didn't tell her that she could do seven years for that because they thought that she would run. Yeah, she most likely would have. She most likely would have. They don't give you enough rope to hang yourself, you know? They don't give you enough rope to do nothing. They don't, they don't do anything. She did it. You see... 
No. Guys, thank you guys for coming. I'm hoping that when I propose to Destiny today that the positive memory will, uh, will outweigh the negative and just kind of turn everything around. That's going to be the day that she came all the way to wherever this is. Uh, I think it's California. That day that she got to hear that maybe she might be going to prison for seven years. And that's the same day you choose to propose to her. I don't know if that's the best day to do it because she's not happy. And him thinking that the ring is going to make her happy is very interesting. Because Destiny is not really about this relationship as far as I'm concerned. We'll stop up here and just kind of walk by the river or something just to kind of clear your mind and just see a different atmosphere. Shell wants to take me some river walk. Like, that's the last thing that I want to do. She doesn't want to go on no kind of river walk. Well, I'm going to go to the right, I'm just from the beginning, from the first minute, like today, was a hell Then he goes on to talk for ages. By fire, by force, holds her hand. Oh, isn't it kind of crazy? Remember the day when, remember that time when, oh, we never knew we'd be here. She just wants to go home, lie down, watch some Netflix, get her mind off of things. She doesn't need all this. That's worse. I learned a lot. How much I care for you and how much that I want to be with you. You mean you learned that today? He's like, yeah, blah, 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 today. I learned a lot about how I care for you and how I want to be with you. And she's like, you learned that today? Yeah. Destiny, she needs him to be a bit better with his words. That's that's what I'm seeing. Because she's like a little fast talker. And she needs him to be eh, on it. Not today, just all in general. You're my world now. Like, I wouldn't even know what to do if I came home and I didn't saw your perfume anymore. I didn't have there anymore. I don't do it with all my heart. You know, you told me that you're always sort of an action person. And that you want, you know, to... It must be hard for a dude. He's there with the ring. I mean, he probably has never done this. He has six kids with his baby mama and she never got a ring. So this is probably the first time he's doing this. He's nervous as heck. He's got his hand in his pocket. Okay, is the ring still there? Is there? Let me finish this speech. And once I finish, uh, wow, wow, I'll put it out. And she wouldn't have known it during my speech at all. Because she wouldn't have seen that I've been sitting with my hand in my pocket. In and out, in and out, in and out. For the last five minutes. Whew, nerve wracking. It's a prove it type deal. And so... That's what I'm gonna do. She looks like, oh my gosh, is this really gonna happen right now? Dude, Destiny. Welcome. Yeah, mm, well, mm, mm. she will take it because even if it's seven years in prison again and she's saying she doesn't expect him to wait, at the end of the day, she doesn't have anybody else. Where's that girl that was in the furniture store? I thought she, they were gonna meet up or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, um, she, I mean, she's gonna take it because it's her best bet of making anything out of her life. To have this old guy who is just not gonna focus on his children and focus on you. That's dedication right there. And she needs that. She needs stability. So, having waited another seven years is nothing to her. She'll come out, she'll still be fresh and fruity, and he'll be old as heck. And then she'll come and just like how Lindsay did Scott. Yeah, that's why you're 52 and single. And Sean is 48. So by the time uh, she would come out, he'll be 55. Yeah, madness. Madness, love. If you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit mom stomp. And don't forget to subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video. And hit the notification bell whilst you're at it i'll see you in the next video which will be tomorrow daily videos up in here this is a lifestyle channel so it's not only love after lock up other videos as well in the meantime make time for glorious life it's time to start what let me try it god bless